Hello everyone. In this quick tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create this animation using Framer without writing a single line of code. I'll also share the free remix link in the description as well as this video in our asset page. I'm Imran from Cycloto and let's get started. Okay, first let's take a project and click in here, go to these layers, desktop and click this layout to make it stack now press t on your keyboard to add text and write out text click this font and change it to anton click this size and increase it to 300 now click this color and change it to this color now press ctrl or command t on your keyboard to duplicate it and name it VE. Now go to the insert and search for video. Now wrap this three into another stack. Let's select it and press Ctrl Alter Enter or Command Option Return on your Mac and name it anything. I'm naming it container and change the direction to horizontal. Click on this video set the width 500 and height 200 and add some radius i guess 999 and click this upload choose file and upload our video if you observe the animation you will notice that this section stays fixed while scrolling this effect is achieved using the sticky position type so we will set our section's position to sticky. Click on this container and change the position type to sticky. When using sticky positioning, make sure the parent layer's overflow is set to visible. So the parent layer is desktop, change the overflow to visible. Also set the height fit content. Let's add 600 pixel of spacing to both top and bottom. So press F and draw a frame and drag it here name it spacer change the width to fill and height to 600 pixel now duplicate it and press down arrow on your keyboard to place it at the bottom finally set the sticky section's height to 1000 pixel again let's preview the animation to analyze what happens when we scroll There's a specific point where the effect is triggered. To handle this, we will use an empty frame as a trigger. The animation will only occur when this frame is visible on the canvas. So add an empty frame, draw a frame like this and place it here. Now click this and make it absolute. Let's lock this frame and grab this section here, make it a little thin and align it center. Now scroll down, click this scroll section and name it 1. Let's unlock it and click this WA effect scroll transform section in view select the viewport center and the section is 1 on the from state increase the opacity to 1 scale it to 1 and x offset 295 leave the twisted like this and add a transition now copy this effect and paste on here on this ve just change the value on the from state to minus 230. Now click this video effect, scroll transform, section in view, center, section 1. On the from state, scale it 1 and I guess add some x offset to 25, reduce the opposite to 0. 
now go to the two state and leave it like this add a transition now let's give it a preview to see if it's working or not yes it's working we can remove the fill color here perfect our first animation is complete and now we can easily create the second one as you might have guessed we will simply copy this two frame this is spacer and this frame and then we will place it at the bottom so first copy this spacer and then let's first name it one and then copy it these two frame are in the same position click on the second one and make it visible to see the first one there you go and drag it and drop it here now let's click on it and click this yes to make it visible now let's name it 2 and go to this video scroll section add section and select the section 2 click this 2 and increase the opacity to i guess 5 now click this style z index and increase to 10 now let's preview one more time this is our first animation and this is our second animation and that's how you can create this type of animation without writing a single line of code if you have made it this far i hope you enjoyed the video don't forget to subscribe to our channel we will be sharing more tutorials like this inshallah thanks for watching and i'll see you in the next video